say there is absolutely no chance of impact. Gina Fitzgerald is in New York at the American Museum of Natural History. But Jason, in light of what happened in Russia, it, it just makes me a little nervous. You know, Carol, it's definitely a wake-up call. I mean, you look at what happened in Russia, you look at what's going to happen later on this afternoon. Actually, the name of that asteroid is 2012-GA-14. Not a very inspiring name for such an incredible object. And, you know, as the animation shows, at its closest point, that's going to be at about 2 o'clock this afternoon, 224, I think, to be exact. It'll pass just about 17,200 miles from Earth. That may sound like it's far away, Carol, but that's actually very, very close. Some of our communications and weather satellites are actually, you know, in that same area, but we're told from scientists that uh, this particular asteroid is not going to have any effect on any of our communication satellites. But still, this is something to keep a very close eye on. So we've been watching very closely. I'm going to bring him in right now. It's Dr. Jenny Abel. He's, a, he's six foot five. I'm just going to back up there just a little bit. He's curator here at the, <laughs> at the Hall of the Universe, and he's been studying quite a long time. When you look at what's happening with 2012 GA-14, again, the asteroid is going to be passing by this afternoon. What are some of your thoughts? Well, my thoughts are, what is it made out of, and how, why is it coming so close? We know it probably comes from the asteroid belt. I study meteorites. I study this stuff. My colleagues, the astronomers, look at things far away. And so this is sort of in between that space. But you know, you know what fascinates and frightens me about this, Carol? If, if you think about you think this was discovered by amateur astronomers from sure. in Spain about a year ago. But if we were to discover, if we were to discover another one that was actually going to impact us, we, we wouldn't have the capability to stop it if it was discovered in, in you know, a year out of the impact, maybe in, in a year and a half. Well, it, 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 that's too short a time span. The political will doesn't really exist to, to, to mount a global protection uh, effort. But the amateurs in Spain, in this case, who discovered this, there's a plenty of will in the amateur scientific community and the professional scientific community to find these things. In fact, we do know 95% of the big ones, the ones that are greater than a kilometer in diameter. But here we have a tiny object over Russia, an air burst. Here's an area where they, they have nuclear weapons plants, who knows what's there, in Chelyabinsk. But they got a, they woke up and smelled the asteroid today. And, and in this afternoon, we'll see another small body, 45 meters. And we're going to be checking back in with you this afternoon watch this particular asteroid again, 2012 DA-14. 2012 DA-14.